carbon monoxide is produced when we burn fuels like gas, oil, propane, wood, and charcoal. It can build to dangerous levels and spread throughout your house. But we use oil in our furnace, natural gas in our stove. Sometimes we burn wood in the fireplace. Is that dangerous? No, not if everything's working right. Let's see what the hazards are, um, and we will install carbon monoxide alarms where you need them. Sure. Sounds good. So along the way, I'm going to show you some different types of alarms. But even if everything in your house is working right, you definitely need some of these. Okay, this is the most important area of the home to install a carbon monoxide alarm. Why here? Because you need a carbon monoxide alarm just outside every sleeping area. And if you have a sleeping area on another level, you need one there too. How come? You want the alarm to wake people up. Often fatal carbon monoxide poisonings happen while people are sleeping. We don't burn anything here, especially not after we go to bed. That's a good point. But if the furnace isn't working properly, warm carbon monoxide can rise all the way up from the basement and spread throughout the whole house. So we need an alarm here. Right. But you have two different kinds of alarms. That's true. But it doesn't matter what kind of alarm you use, you want to make sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to install it, test it, and maintain it. And you're also going to want to know what to do when you hear the alarm. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so come on over here. Uh, this alarm is designed to go on the wall. And the way all of these alarms work is that they continuously sample air through small vents. You want to make sure that these vents are clear of dust and dirt. Sure. Okay, also make sure that they're not blocked by something like drapes. And don't even think about painting over one of these. I wouldn't do that. Okay. So this one is battery powered. What if the battery gets low? Oh, you'll hear a chirping sound. And if you hear that sound, you want to make sure you replace the battery.